Now we'll look at how we might machine these three small steps on the component. We've already used Smart Cam Region Roughing, but we're going to use it again for those three areas here. I've already created um, two of the regions that we're going to need. If we look at this corner here, um, here's a machining region or a, a, a roughing region that is comprised of a single line, which is this face of this, the ledge here, and the open part of it around here. So if I create um, the third one, got two of those, create the third one over on this area here. Um, quite simply, we'll do that on the same layer as our regions here. Um, we'll come in and define a user region. The difference this time is they're partial profiles instead of the whole profiles that we use for roughing the outer boundary. So we want a um, component profile, which is just this, this lip here, this line and the stock around it is comprised of the profile between here and here. So if we go to that, we'll just pick him up and shift him down the z-axis because that's the depth of machine we want to, to go to. So move him from there to minus 3. And now we've got three regions then, um, we can now just apply some tooling to them. First we'll apply this same 20mm cutter to those three regions here. Go back to the isometric view. We'll pick up those regions, we'll make them active in the active group. Three regions, one, two, three, either from the element list or from the graphics area. And then apply region roughing once again. So. Um, go. So connected tool path, that's machining the difference, you can see it's overlapping stock up against that back face. The back face is a single line but it could be a part profile or part of a part profile. Um, if we wanted to uh, apply a different tool to that, that's a regenerable process again now. You can see here this process over here, we can pick him up and modify him later on. Um, I can undo that, we can pick up another tool, 12mm cutter, accept and remachine it with that smaller tool.